Hello there everyone, my name is Matthew McKenna and welcome back to my channel. So today we're not doing like a song, I mean I guess technically we kind of are, but I'm gonna be watching and reacting to genius interviews, but like playing them singing the song with just raw vocals next to them singing the actual song in the studio version. Funnily enough, I've actually never watched a genius interview. I don't really know what they comprise of other than this yellow background, I've seen that. I also know that they like break down the lyrics and they just do it with like a normal microphone and they don't process it at all. So it's super duper raw. And I've heard that a lot of people don't perform well on that or they sound bad because there's absolutely like no support from technology for your voice. And honestly, I would wager that like people saying that they perform badly, a lot of that is just that it's a bit surprising to hear someone sing a song with completely raw vocals when you're very used to the studio version. So I, I'm, I'm coming at this a bit skeptical about whether people actually perform badly or if it's just a comparison. But nonetheless, I'm gonna look at this, I'm gonna tackle this, and I'm actually really, really, really keen. Before we get started, if you're new here, make sure you click subscribe and enable notifications so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. All right, so as I start to put this earphone in, I realize there's a solid chance I might not know who some of these people are. <laughs> you know me, I live under a rock, this is not surprising, but like, um, I'm, I'm like 90% sure the person on my screen right now is Charlie Puth. I haven't done a video on him and I think I've heard one song, that super famous one, um, See You Again? Is that what it's called? See You Again? I'm, I maybe, I may, I think I've heard that one or at least the chorus. Run around, run around, run around, throwing that dirt all on my name. I'm just gonna like jump in straight away and say I really like his natural vibrato and obviously it's not gonna sound as good as the studio version, but he's got this really nice natural vibrato, like a wavering to his voice. I didn't know that Charlie sung this quite high. It's like almost raspy style of vocals. It's nice. You've been running around, running around, running around, throwing that dirt all on my name. See, it's not raspy at all here. You can hear there that there's reverb, compression, a bit of EQ. There's just a lot more been done to his vocals there. Like, he doesn't sound bad. I think he's actually hitting the notes. There was, you know, a couple of one or two off ones, but that's just always gonna happen. I'm liking the sound of his voice. Go around, go around, go around every party in LA. Go around, go around, go around every party in LA. Is it weird that I actually prefer the no one? Auto tune one. I know that dress is karma, perfume regret. I feel like I say this about quite a lot of people. Look, I will say I'm not a vocal coach. I do sing, I've had vocal lessons, and maybe it's just nerves and the fact that there's like no support at all in regards to the tech. He knows it's just raw vocals, but it feels like he's really holding back. It feels like the notes like kind of getting stuck in his throat here. I don't know like technical terms about that, so you're just gonna have to live with that description, but like his voice doesn't feel complete, I guess, in a way. <laughs> of course the notes are gonna be hit there because th he's done like 40 takes to get the notes right for the studio. <laughs> that bass riff is is dope. <laughs> okay, so we've just changed to another person. I have never seen this person in my life. If someone could fill me in on who this person is, that would be fantastic. The show of each ER was cool. Oh, and when I man. finally got sober, felt 10 years older, I'll fuck it, it was something to do. His voice is awesome. Like Charlie Puth sounded great, don't get me wrong, and he was hitting the notes, but this dude just seems so relaxed. He's letting those notes come out and it feels like this is effortless for him. And not only that, but he's just enjoying it. What a pleasant, smooth voice. I took a pill in Ibiza. Oh, okay, I've heard this song. I don't know who it is, but I've heard this song. His voice feels like way higher in the studio version. I drive a sports car just to prove I'm a real big baller cause I made a million dollars and I spend it on girls and shoes. Maybe I'm just crazy or maybe I have no idea what sounds good, but I'm really, really, really liking his raw vocals here. I definitely prefer it over the studio version. It just feels a lot more real, I guess. You don't want to ride the bus like this. Never know who to trust like this. You don't want to be stuck up on that stage singing. I will definitely Google who this guy is. I hope he's done some acoustic stuff. His voice is great. Oh, I know a sad song. I feel like I'm fanboying over someone I, I don't even know the name of. That's kind of weird. I ain't been getting high. Okay, again, no idea who this guy is. I ain't been getting high. Well, maybe a little, baby. I don't wanna. What is this music video? This is bizarre. Text me, girl. I don't always reply. Maybe it's just because, in comparison to the last person, his raw voice isn't quite as good. I'm certainly like seeing a difference. When you hear this song, anyway, you can tell that there's 
been quite a lot of effects added to the vocals. But what's what's interesting about him is that while I'm sitting here like his voice doesn't sound the greatest, I'm digging his energy. He's smiling, he seems to be having fun. The other two, like, I mean, the last guy seemed like he was having a bit of a good time, but Charlie Puth seemed a bit on edge. This guy's like just living the life. Well, you're not an angel either, you can't even fly. <laughs> He's even acting it out. What a legend. I feel like a lot of people forget that you're not just a singer, you're an entertainer. There's so much more that goes into music than just how your voice sounds. People read a lot off of your body language, how you are, your stage presence or your camera presence. People are constantly like subconsciously reading that information, especially like in concerts or in like live acoustic settings like this, your energy and the vibe that you put out really, really comes across. I spy with my little eye, a girly I can get cause she don't get too many likes. His overall sound is so, so different on the track. Although so far this is like the one that the track I've preferred the most. I actually don't mind like the effect layers and everything on the voice and it adds like an interesting sound to me. I really, 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 really hate myself. I <laughs> I got intense real quick. I'm really, really interested in hearing how she sounds because everything I've heard of Billy has just been tracks. I don't even think I've heard her perform live. So I'm really excited. Please don't let me down, Billy. I want you to be such an amazing singer and I believe in you. Don't be that way. Oh my gosh. What a, what a voice. I just wish you could feel what you Say. That's like studio quality. <laughs> Obviously it doesn't sound the same as the studio version, but if that was how Billy sounded on her studio tracks, I wouldn't be mad. Show never tell. Oh my god, her slides. But I know you too well. She's also got amazing vibrato. Why can't I sing like that? I'm angry. If teardrops could be better. Oh my god, her high notes. If teardrops could be better. Wow. I'm just, okay. I, I know that I'm just kind of a bit shook and, and fan boying right now, but like, I feel like one weakness that a lot of singers have, like myself included, I feel like I have a pretty decent voice, but like, it's always high pitched stuff that just is so hit or miss for me. But she just nailed every single note on that and it sounded gorgeous. Listening to this makes me wonder how many takes they do for a song of Billy's, like two and then that's it, she's done. <laughs> if I love you was a promise, would you break it if you're honest? How can she be hitting these notes so cleanly? This sounds like something that could just be raw studio audio. I don't Wow. Anymore. What a note to end on. That, wow. I don't have anything else to say other than wow. I was just really, really hoping I wasn't gonna be disappointed by like Billy sounding so different in the studio and in real life, but hot damn. That was impressive. How can one person impress me so much? I feel like I know a lot about Billy now cause I've done like three or four videos on her and somehow she still impresses me. And she's like 17. So that was really, really interesting. I'm really, really keen to hear your thoughts. Let me know which one you preferred for each of those artists, like the auto tune or the no auto tune. Also let me know who you thought was the best out of those four. For me, I would probably have to say Billy. That was just, yeah. That was just amazing. But that second guy whose name I don't know is also a close second. It was so smooth, so so silky smooth. I appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.